Developing tonight in Columbus, the U.S. Postal Inspector is now investigating after every one of our Republican state senators were mailed envelopes of feces. News 5 State House reporter Morgan Trow has been speaking to several of those lawmakers today, and they have some theories about why those envelopes were sent their way. It wasn't the type of letters Ohio Republican state senators were expecting. What do you think prompted somebody to send feces to elected officials? Well, you know, I think political discourse has really taken a turn in the last decade, whether it's uh, regarding the, the, uh, the Dobbs case or gun control issues or any number of hot button issues. I'm told 25 envelopes reached either the state house mailroom or post offices in Cleveland and Akron on Thursday. Northeast Ohio State Senator Jerry Serino says these letters were full of feces. There's a professional way to do these things in a way that doesn't put people people's health in jeopardy, which is why this one was so disgusting. A GOP spokesperson says the feces are presumed to be human. And now the Ohio State Highway Patrol and the Postal Inspection Service are investigating. State Senator Stephanie Kunze says the letters were directed at the state's Republican lawmakers, but were stopped before being delivered. It reached our you know, our staff, and that can be Democrat, Republican. Clearly, it's not an effective means um, except for to put people in harm's way. Kunze is known as one of the most moderate lawmakers in the state house, voting against the six week abortion ban, the stand your ground gun law and arming teachers in schools with just 24 hours of training. So she says this isn't the first time she's faced harassment. I received um, death threats. I get it from both sides, frankly. If you're willing to, you know, do something like this, what else is your next idea? As of right now, it isn't clear if there was a message inside along with the feces. And a representative for the state GOP says the return addresses were fake. Serino is angry and says while this is not a funny situation, he can't help but find the humor in the absurdity of it. As public officials, we often have to take a lot of crap from the public, and that's part of our job. But this situation has taken it to a new level, unfortunately. The lawmakers received an email advising them to be careful checking their mail at home and to not open, smell, or taste. At the State House, Morgan Trow, News 5.